Welcome back to Ruben's scary trip to Toronto. I hope you're comfortable. <laughs> so we get <laughs> so weird. So we get to a bus stop and the bus driver says five minutes. And I believe that he means five minutes. I didn't even really want to go out and pee, but I was like, oh, I really have to go, and it's better to go somewhere where there's a basin for you to wash your hands right. and, you know, room for you to, like, squat better. So I come out of the bathroom, and I hear him talk to another passenger about how somebody ratted him out and how now we're going to get to Toronto really late because now he has to drive at 68 miles per hour instead of, like, 75. 72. Yeah, 72, 75. And I was like, the speed limit is 65. We're already over by three miles per hour. And you have a busload of passengers like, we'll be fine. And he goes, somebody ratted me out. But what really was happening was that the wind was pushing us. This magical wind, which none of us saw from the outside happening, was blowing the bus at such a fast pace. Oh, my. Like, we're not in tor Tornado Town. We're not even during wind season. No, no, no. It was a beautiful day outside. And I was like, there was no wind, dude. You were speeding. And then he, you know, he's talking to everybody outside the bathroom about this. The men outside the men's bathroom. For ten minutes. I've peed. I bought a new bottle of water. I have, like, talked to people on the phone. And it's like, come on, man. Let's get on the road. Yeah. So he comes up to the bus to give an announcement. Benu, would you like to... Um, he, he, go, he says, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just a simple man. All I'm trying to do is trying to get you guys up to, to up to, 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 to where, as far as I can to Buffalo. But no, I No, you said to Toronto. Because we're just supposed to take us to Toronto. Oh, well, I'm trying to get you guys to Toronto, if I can. But there is someone on this bus who called, who called uh, Megabus and, uh, and complained. And said that uh, I was speeding, which I w and he goes, who said I was speeding, but I wasn't speeding, it was when. To which I turned, and I knew I signed myself out at this point, but I was like, I must speak up. I must speak up. And I go, uh, dude, you were speeding, you were going really fast and slamming the brakes and yelling at people. We just want to go to Toronto. Can we please go? This was a bold thing for you to do. To I have you? to say because really? because like oh my god like like because because you like you put your neck out on the line for me at, in the beginning yeah and now suddenly it's like you're you're putting your neck back out there and like yeah. suddenly like he's going to he's going to be even more pissed at you now yeah I knew like I kind of knew like this isn't somebody that's going to back down but I was also like motherfucker please like you were speeding and you were taking my life which. I treasure, yeah. and everybody else's life, who they probably treasure, you're taking a lot of risks with our lives. Like, I'm not okay with that, and I want him to know, like, I'm on to you, Paolo. I'm on to you, and your terrible driving, and your road rage, and your single manness, and your, uh, your 50-year-old plus age. Yeah. Um, and he goes, he goes, oh, so it was you that complained. And I go, listen. We just want to get to Toronto. Can we please go? Can you please stop with the speeches? You yeah. You're talking to everybody outside the bathroom. You said it would be a five-minute break. It's been a ten-minute break. We all want to get to Toronto. Let's go. And I yeah. said it in this tone, right? I was at this tone. I was like, let's go. Let's go. Go. Yeah. And, and then I, at that point, I almost kind of hoped, like, another chant would have started <laughs> at that point. It's like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A yeah. chant did not happen. No. He no. got very angry and said that I was the reason we were late because I, I made him. Yeah. With all five foot two of me, made him stop the bus so we could let my friend on, even though I'm like, four other people got on after him. So really, we let on five passengers yeah. that have left. And and then he goes, um, you're the problem. You're the reason we're late. I'm like, well, really, I'm the reason we're late. I was the one that was on the bus after five minutes. I was the one that was bus on time. Like, you're the problem, dude. And I was like, we don't want to hear any more of your speech. We just want to go. We want to get to Toronto. Yeah. And then other people are chiming in, like, let's go, let's go, let's Yeah, there's, go. there was, like, one woman sitting next to me who was complaining. And then, like, as soon as, like, he got, got, got quiet, she started singing. You know, I'm just like. Okay. And two other passengers uh, on the bus sitting across from me were saying, like, is this how every bus is? They've never been on a bus before. Yeah. And they were freaking out. And they are like, he's terrible. And we're really scared. I felt so bad for them. Um, and the woman that was across from me was like, sir, you're <clears throat> getting really loud and angry. Please calm yourself. Take a breath and drive. That was the woman who was singing. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was the same yeah. one. Yeah. She was just like, like, take a deep breath, just relax, yeah. and just, you know, just... Because he's really losing it and yelling, and, I, and that's why I was like, just go. There were, like, people upstairs on the, on the upper deck that were like, you know, just like, don't drive like this. Like, just like, relax. Take it easy. You know, and it was it was really distressing. You know, like I I mean I was tweeting about it, like and then he wouldn't stop talking about it. He was like, I wasn't speeding, I wasn't speeding. If you wouldn't complain about me, I'll then complain about me. But I'm complaining about you, and I'm like, oh really? Yeah, dude would not drop the issue. Would not drop it. Like he was really intent on focusing on this, and would not leave until he like got some kind of resolution. And then he said he's never spent his entire life. I'm like, everybody has spent their entire life. You're not a saint. Yeah. And then he said. That um, nobody's ever complained about him. I was like, I doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said that um, that if I want to complain, he's going to give me like a complaint card. I go and I was like, I don't need your card. I'll complain later. Let's just go. Yeah. So then he hands out complaint cards to everybody but me on the bus. I didn't get a complaint card. Oh, you did it? No. He handed it to the first two passengers, and they were like, Oh. And ship. then and then he was like, he's like, okay, everybody wants to go. We'll go. And he like smashed smacked his hand on the side. Mm. And we're like, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> nice. <laughs>